you think guys you think i beat this thing Welcome to Twin Turbo. I'm happy. Check the forecast. It's a little cloudy, but we're gonna get it done today. Map three, I did remove the spare tire and I took out the sub. So that little eight inch sundown audio, by the way, in the box, just the sub is like 30 pounds for an eight inch. It's, it's insane. So the with the box, it's about 50 pounds plus the spare, uh, we'll just say 90 pounds, 100 pounds is actually supposed to take off 0.1 second of your zero to 60. So if you do it in 4.5, you lose 100 pounds, you might do it in 4.4. Power to weight ratio is a huge thing that is very underlooked. The Kia Stinger already is a pretty heavy car, not as heavy as my last two Lexus cars were. This thing is pushing 4,200 pounds because it's all-wheel drive. I think the all-wheel drive adds about 400 pounds, so there's pros and cons to rear-wheel drive and all-wheel drive, of course, from a dig, or if you live in the Midwest, as I do, all-wheel drive is more of a benefit. And when the roads are damp, this thing will bust it sideways still, even though it's all-wheel drive. Plus, winter time comes, I can do some cool stuff. So anyway, guys, we are in map three today update guys so on my last video i was saying that burger tuning i wanted to confirm with them of what lag fix is and by the way their customer service is great i have been going back and forth with them today and i am also i forgot to ask them about the e85 I, uh, there's a guy on instagram i follow who is really knowledgeable go check out his page it's uh kato's corner uh, it's Kato the Stinger. So go check this dude out, man. He's pretty knowledgeable. So he might answer me before Burger does. Oh, so, I'm just curious, guys. I have to know. I don't believe it that my car, that my tune here, see, E85 is at number four now. So anyways, lag fix, they sent me an email and there is a setting. So oh my God. to the JB4, but the lag fix is you go into your settings, go to user adjustment settings. Okay. And then it, the email said DWP. I have it at 100 now. I mean, honestly, dude, this thing's just insane all the time. I have E85 in here right now. I noticed that when I leave it in second gear and I'm driving and I let off, it's gurgling a little bit differently. It's kind of like, uh, sounds like a lopey cam shaft in a V8 almost. It's kind of, hopefully I can replicate that so I don't look stupid. Hey, we got the Stinger swag on for one. No, but for today, we're gonna throw on the GoPro. You have to see both the JB4 screen reading, as well as kind of have uh, some sort of perception of what it's like on the inside behind the wheel here. So we will be driving to Mexico when we record this. But before we do that, let's throw on the GoPro. Double tap boost, it'll show you live boost. 
and if you double tap it again it'll show max boost so I like that because and you can restart Okay guys, now what I want to do is I want to go to the settings, Let me pull over real quick, go to user adjustment settings, and we're just going to put this back at zero, where it was, hit save. This will be a baseline because honestly, this is what I'm used to, so I never messed with any settings until they said something about the DWP. I need to make sure that was it. But I just did a couple pulls with that adjusted. So now we should be able to see exactly if it made a difference. Air intake temperatures are at 120 sitting. That's very hot in my opinion. Um, 80 is optimal, 85 during when it's warmer out I mean you can't avoid it it is what it is of course when you're moving it's gonna go down felt a little a little insane like I think I was spinning a little bit actually but I don't know you guys heard that um, kind of backfired a little bit I need to create a log so that I can send it to burger tuning that'll be in another video i'll show you guys how to do log mapping and then we'll do it together and i'll show you the response and you know the whole process of them reading your logs and how all that works so it's a little confusing to me so maybe it'll help you let's see what she's got guys map three Is such great low-end torque on this on this car man and so we're gonna do a map 3 wide open throttle rear bumper clip all right guys it's super windy out here so it's on tuning got back with me on the lag fix and again guys you need to subscribe because in other videos I, I'm just documenting like what I do and problems that I have or may not have and how to improve things honestly guys after I did the firmware update and I updated my app with the latest version of, of the app it's all working great and I did notice a difference you know these JB4s you don't have to mess with anything they come with years of improvement so if you buy one today for instance just put 93 octane in your car and leave it in map 2. we get obsessed with power we want more we get used to it we're looking for the cheapest ways to get the most power real quick i get it i get it and that's why i messed with it but i'm telling you as far as the kia stinger goes get some plugs get some intakes get a tune if you're gonna do that go ahead and get an exhaust it's all one system that works great together if you are gonna have the system I have and I got to practice what I preach I need an oil catch can put it uh, down in the comments which one you guys suggest I want one that's like 
you know, like an all-in-one system. Like, I want it to be nice. I don't want to go cheap on, on that because they're already kind of, you know, they're not cheap, cheap, but you know what I mean. Oh, Kia Stinger. Is that a GT? Oh my gosh, guys. The exhaust on this thing. Dude, did you hear that? Dude, this thing was about to straight bust it sideways. All right, everybody. So that's going to do it for today for the map three pulls. Again, so many ideas of videos I want to come up with right now, but uh, leave some comments in below. If you guys need help with anything, you want to see something, uh, you know, anything car related I'm down for. You know, so we're going to end up doing the aesthetics on this. We're going to have to lower it, do some wrap on the black chrome. I like carbon fiber, maybe a carbon fiber lip or a spoiler. I mean, there's just so many things you can do. This car has such a great following. I love the Stinger community, man. You guys are awesome, especially on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. I'll post a lot of stuff to my stories. All right, man. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.